So in this example, we're given a circuit that has a dependent source. So that's the source right here. And you can see that it's dependent on the voltage across uh, this resistor. And what they're asking us to do is to find the uh, power uh, absorbed by the 100 ohm resistor. So that's the same resistor. So we recall that we can determine the power from the equation uh, power is equal to voltage times the current, or we can invoke, uh, invoke Ohm's law and uh, remembering that V is equal to IR, so we can just replace that and say it's IR times I, which would be I squared R. And so this is the, this is the form we're going to use, and we're going to uh, solve this voltage loop equation to determine uh, what the value of I is. So once we have the value of I, we'll also have uh, the resistance, which is given, so we can plug it into our equation there and determine what the power um, absorbed by that resistor is. So uh, let's look at this then. So we're going to go around the loop and uh, determine uh, the equation for all the voltages summed around the loop. Remember, they should equal to zero. Um, so we're going to start at this corner right here and go in this direction. So as we go in that direction, the first item we see uh, is this voltage source here, and it's 20 volts. So we'll write that, say 20 volts. And then we keep going around the circle. And so the next thing we see is our dependent voltage source. And so we can write that as plus 0.4 v, uh, V1, excuse me, V1. And then we continue on, we hit this resistor. And so for the resistor here, uh, we will have uh, just the current times the voltage. And so we see that the current is going uh, against our direction here going this way, or we're assuming it's going that way. So we're going to say that's minus 5 ohms times I. So that's our voltage there. Again, just Ohm's law. And so we continue around our circle there. <clears throat> and now we come to another voltage source. And this one, we hit the negative sign first. So therefore, this will be uh, negative 150 volts. And then finally... Uh, we will come around to the resistor of, uh, of interest, and that's the uh, 100 ohm resistor. And again, that's just the current through the resistor times the resistance. And so for this one, that's going to be um, minus, and again, it's going to, the current's going against our, our flow there, so it's going to be minus uh, 100i. And so that gets us back to where we started, uh, right here. So we've gone all the way around the loop. So if we add all these together, uh, this should equal to zero. Okay, so now we have one equation and we have two unknowns. The two unknowns are I and V1. So we need a second equation. And being that we have the dependent source, um, we can, we can utilize that. And so we're going to utilize the fact that um, uh, of this device right here, and we're going to use, utilize the fact and say that V1, we, are, we, we know what V1 is, right? It's just the current through the resistor, Ohm's law. So V1 is going to be equal to 100 times I. And so we're going to take this and substitute this in right here for that V1. So we said that's what V1 is equal to. So we can rewrite this then. We can say it's 20 uh, plus, now we substitute this in, it's going to be uh, 0.4 times 100i, and then it's going to be minus 5i and then minus 150, and then minus 100i. 
Again, that's all has to equal to zero. And so as we combine, <coughs> combine like terms, uh, we should come up with uh, 130 minus 130 minus 65i. And then that should be equal to zero. So minus 65i uh, should equal to uh, 130. So if we solve for i in this case, um, we should get negative 2 amps, negative 2 amps. So the fact that it's negative means that the current is actually flowing this way. So we assume the wrong direction, but that's okay. The sign takes care of that. So now uh, we have our current here and we have our resistance here. So we can uh, utilize this equation to find our power, which is what we originally asked for. So the power in the 100 uh, ohm resistor is just going to be equal to I squared R. And we determined that uh, I was a negative 2 squared. And then times R is 100. And so when we calculate that out, uh, we should get 400 watts. 400 watts. So now the one last thing they ask us to do is to determine what the uh, power supplied by the uh, dependent voltage source. So we can go back and do that as well. So we'll call this power dependent source. And again, remember that power is just equal to uh, V times I. And so in this case, since it's supplied, it will be negative. And so V, uh, we recall that uh, our dependent source, it was the voltage is 0.4 times V1. Um, and then I um, times I. But again, we remember that uh, we, we solved for V1. V1 was 100I, so that's going to be 0.4 times 100, times negative 2, and then that's going to be times, that's that's our V1, right? Our 0.4 V1, and it's going to be times our current, another negative 2. And so when we calculate that out, we should get a negative 160 watts. And it's negative because it is being supplied. So here's our... Power dissipated from the resistor, here's the power supplied by our uh, dependent source.